All right, and welcome back to another episode of Raul's World of Sins. I am Raul. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dofer A144 module, the morphing controller, pictured right here next to our buddy, the A135. Uh, if you were with us last week, we were kind of wrapping up a series of videos on the A135 quad VCA voltage controlled mixer. So I only thought it'd be appropriate to kind of look at the A144 module morphing controller, which is intended to be an expander unit for this module. So that's what we'll be talking about today. Some of the basic features and functions of this module. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and talk about it. Now there are four outputs here on the module labeled one, two, three, and four. And immediately to the right, you can see a graphic that kind of shows you four different triangle waves right there. And you can see that each one of them is slightly sort of off to the right from the previous one. So you see two is shifted a little bit to the right of one and three is shifted a little bit to the right of two and four is shifted a little bit to the right of three. Um, now this is exactly how it's supposed to be. Um, you can use this kind of setup, since they're all being fed out individually, to feed the control voltage inputs of the A135 over here. And what you'll achieve by doing that is you'll get kind of a smooth fading between the four different signals. Um, you can do this either manually by using this control here, which is going to allow you to morph through the various uh, outputs that these are going to. Um, or you can use it with a control voltage signal by piping it into the CV input up at the top. Um, now, before we go on a little bit further and kind of explain how you would use this specifically, um, let's talk a little bit about what's on the panel here. Uh, we have a standard CV input up at the top. Um, this is going to be where you feed in an external CV. Um, now, one thing in the manual, it does say the CV that you input into here needs to be between zero and plus five, uh, which means it has to be a positive voltage. Uh, we'll look a little bit later into how you can always sort of attempt to achieve that. Uh, but for now, just know it has to be in the positive range. Uh, over to the right of our CV input, we have a standard attenuator. So whatever signal is going into our module here, you can control how much of it is going to feed the morphing right here. Now you can use this control immediately below it to kind of adjust it manually if you choose to do so. Right there. And you can also use these together if you wish. Uh, so if you have a certain setting here on your dial and you also have a CV coming in over here, uh, the result will be a sum of the two signals. So standard DOFER convention uh, in general. Uh, now, while it is intended to be used as an expander for this guy over here, you know, since you would be patching the four outputs to the four inputs over here on your voltage controlled mixer, that's not necessarily a, a fixed sort of setup. You can use this with four uh, separate VCAs if you wanted to. You could use it with four different filters if you wanted to, uh, or four other type effects if you wanted to. Since you know modular for the most part is fairly open, um, you can kind of utilize this and maybe even come up with your own creative ways to use it. Um, now before I go on, I did want to talk a little bit about one of the other uses of this module. Now on the website, it does mention that you can also feed an audio signal into here. And uh, we'll be seeing a demonstration of this a little bit later. Uh, so when you do feed an audio signal uh, or audio rate signal into the CV input here, you can actually use this module as a wave shaper. So we'll be taking a look at how exactly that sounds and uh, maybe even what it looks like by utilizing a oscilloscope to see what our signal is. Um, now, while we did say that the typical applications of this are going to be the crossfading or morphing of signals uh, manually or automatically, uh, there's also the possibility to utilize this uh, quadraphonically. Now, in the last 
uh, series of videos in the A135, we used a quadrature oscillator, which I don't have actually here, but uh, there were four phase shifted sine waves that we were using to control the four inputs of our voltage controlled mixer, which gave us one specific type of sound. And I think in that video was the one where I actually brought up for the first time, you know, this idea of quadraphonic. Uh, this can get you a little closer to achieving a true quadraphonic. That is, if you take the four outputs of the A135-1 and feed them to four separate, you know, speakers in your setup. Um, that is, you know, let's say you have four speakers, one in each corner of a room. You could then achieve with the morphing controller in conjunction with that uh, a kind of shifting around the room, which is pretty popular in older music uh, back from the 50s, 60s, um, and then a lot of experimental type avant-garde music as well. Um, now we talked about the wave shaping possibilities of this, and we talked about the just in general uh, uses with the A135. So for the most part, since we've discussed kind of all the controls and inputs here on our module, that's going to about do it for the basics of this module. Um, in the next video, we're going to do a basic demo uh, of how to use this module and uh, possibly even integrate an oscilloscope view because I think uh, the oscilloscope view will kind of give you a better idea as to what exactly is happening when this is morphing. So I hope that you found this video useful discussing the basics of this module. And I hope you stay tuned for the next one in the series, because uh, I'm kind of excited about this one. And I think it'll be very interesting. And it's going to give us some new kind of ideas to kind of munch on. So thanks again for watching and keep on patching out there.